Alright, let's hope this works. How's it going, everybody? It's beginning to look a lot like cage mess. Do, 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 do. Why is why is my icon on Twitch flickering? What does that keep happening? My ringtones are gone. <sighs> so you may notice that there's like a very slight black border around the game uh, it's especially noticeable on the right side um that's not obs that's just how it looks so uh i don't know if that goes away when we get in there but we'll see Boom, 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 boom. All right, let me get my links out. Will he finish this in just one stream? I don't think so. Um, I think this game is about... It's about six hours long if you focus, and we never focus. Uh, I don't know. I have played it before, so we'll see. Um, I need to move my monitor a little bit. My setup's a little different because I have to install another hard drive on my computer for cyberpunk footage. So that's a video game, huh? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Early access, yeah, it does really feel like an early access game. And, uh, yeah. I've been be being a bit of a shit on Twitter about it, which is what Twitter's for, so that's okay. All right, I'm gonna tag back into the game and see if it actually uh, if it actually works. So let's see. I'm tabbing. We're tabbing. We're tabbing. All right. So uh, is it loud? It's probably loud, right? And I hope you like tabbing too. Alright, so I think it should be down around maybe minus 21. Let's see. Alright, that puts us at... Um, oh no, that's too quiet now. It's, it's around minus 50 decibels now. Alright, so we want it to be maybe minus 17. Alright, I love that it doesn't play when I alt tab out. But that's great. All 
Alright, sorry again. Alright, you guys can probably hear it coming through my speakers actually, or my headphones. Alright, there you go. That should be good, right? Northern Lions playthrough of this was fucking magical. Mine will not be as good as that because I cannot compare to the majesty that that is NL. But uh, I, I will try. I will try. I, I can't fight charisma of that level, unfortunately. Um, Alright, so... Um, let's get the music on. Alright. Just become bald. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh... Uh, yeah, so Cyberpunk 2077 has turned into uh, quite possibly the highest profile train wreck in all of gaming. I'm having trouble remembering uh, any game that that was ever this hyped and was this um, this anticipated um, and was supposed to be so good, uh, falling that short of expectation, that, that so far of expectations. People in chat are saying No Man's Sky. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think No Man's Sky compares to this. Um, no Man's Sky was priced as a AAA game, but I don't think it had the same amount of, uh, of, uh, of, like, money and backing and everything to it. Like, um, like, it's, it's just incredible. I, I have no idea, like, this is the question I keep asking myself, I have no idea how they thought they were gonna make the original release date. Just, I, I, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand, like, I wish I could see that game. Cause like I like oh my god like is this glitchy as any sex? Um, I mean, it's really hard to answer that question because like my 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 initial reaction is saying no because it feels like everything is broken in seventy six whereas the main story parts in, in Cyberpunk are relatively bug free like. There are long stretches of time in Cyberpunk where you're just sitting in a room talking to people and you're just kind of looking around with your camera at different people talking. And those go, those sections go on for quite a while and I haven't seen any many bugs in those sections. They do exist, but, but not many. Um, whereas in Fallout 76, you're just... Like, these games are, are, are at their buggiest when you're just wandering around and, and getting into shit and seeing all the different systems clash because they're not set up properly. And, se and 76 is that the whole time whereas cyberpunk 2077 isn't you know there there are main story moments where you're in something that's more linear that sort of thing so i don't know um like i'd probably still give it to 76 for for just how how busted it is and uh you know i i, I think 76 still doesn't run properly but um cyberpunk 2077 has the same sort of problems that 76 has with just like enemies having like this weird ai that doesn't really work most of the time um stealth is broken because it seems like enemies can't can't see properly um a lot of enemies in the game seem to be deaf you know like i i'm pretty sure that to make it work in 76 um they just turned whatever constitutes as hearing uh off in the game you know there, there's in fallout 4 enemies can hear you as you're moving around um i think that they have to turn that off to get 76 working and it feels like 2077 is the same way that the enemies can't really hear anything apart from gun gunshots or whatever um so like it, and even then sometimes not like i've thrown a grenade in front of somebody missed and it like it hit them outside of damage range and they just ignore it you know like um it's it's awful it's it's really really bad and um It just keeps getting worse, and it's gotten to the point where uh, it's just full-on Bethesda's bug. Where I have no idea if some things are bugs or not. I, I had this, I had this uh, mission where I had to go, like two police um, officers were banging on someone's door next to your apartment, and like this is a quest that everyone is going to see. And uh, like I interact with them, and I like go into the, to the guy's apartment, I talk to him, and we have a good talk. He's depressed. Uh, because his because his partner died um, and then like I leave I go talk to the cops outside and I'm like hey like I went in and spoke to them for you like uh, like I hope this goes well and then they're like yeah here's some money thanks for doing that and then it says wait a few hours and then you wait a few hours and then you go back to back to his apartment and now there's police tape on on the door 
and the two cops are sitting outside kind of like and one of them's crying and now the guy's the guy inside is dead and it doesn't tell you how he died it doesn't tell you why he died like it's heavily implied that he killed himself but it doesn't say that and then and then it shows up mission failed and i'm like what and and then i'm and then when i try to talk to them there's no dialogue after they're like they're back and forth that happens like like um like naturally as you overhear you eavesdrop like when you talk to them they're like get, get out of here cyberpunk we don't want to talk to you oh are you staring at me time to go into alert phase i'm gonna whip out my gun never should have come here never should have punked it like now now they're just normal npcs that are gonna are gonna kill you you know like i don't i don't i don't get it like i don't understand like there's there's no there's no closure there's no explanation of what happened it just says mission failed and i just what like i like is that is that a is that a bug or is that something i don't understand like i have no idea like i i have no clue all right let's turn it down a little bit so people some people are saying it's, it's too loud there were no optional objectives for that quest for me i wait for us now like, yeah i waited i waited there too i did it twice i waited once um like right in front of the door uh, and then when I when I the waiting was over, like now the door had changed and the cops were there, you know, um, uh, uh, being sad. There was a word I, I tried to get there, I couldn't think of it. And then I reloaded because I was so confused, so confused. And then I like um, like went away to a different area and waited there and came back and it was the same sort of thing. There was an optional quest to visit the guys. Nah, I didn't get that. I did not do that. So yeah, I don't know. Like there's there's lots of that in the game. And it's also uh it's just not that fun to play. Like um the city is is uh very beautiful. Um almost anything to do with the city that does not involve the NPCs and the cars. Uh, is amazing. Like the amount of work that I went into it is just staggering, and it just makes me more angry. I drove around the city for about um, for about two hours over my playthrough, uh, and just like just seeing all the detail and just um, like even outside the city, you know, like there's just so much. It kind of feels a little bit like New Vegas, actually, you know. Uh, it, 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 parts it really feels like I'm playing Fallout 5. Like this is this is Boston, like 200 years after Fallout 4. And society has recovered kind of in this area to the point where they now have a big city like the, their construction is back but it's still kind of insane you know that that's that's how it feels to play like like in terms of the movement and the gunplay and everything um, but honestly I think the gameplay in, in Fallout 4 might be better like there's more to cyberpunk but like cyberpunk doesn't really feel like it works properly like like my I, w I was having an okay time until I did one of the fist, fist fighting um, missions and having to like uh, to uh, fight these these two guys at the same time and, and seeing like how the animations just glitch the fuck out and seeing that it's it's hitbox with paired animation base uh, basis again and just like oh it just it's really bad like like the the health sponge enemies and shit and yeah I've been mostly going stealth because it's just easy to kill them in one hit it's just it's just not it's not a great time. It's not a bad time. It's not an awful time towards the gameplay. Uh, the hacking system is interesting, but it just feels underbaked. It just it just feels like I'm playing a game that's only 75% done. Probably because I'm playing a game that's only 75% done, and I'd really like to play the completely finished game. But like I like I I have to play it now. Like I have to finish it, and like it's important. But yeah. Anyway, um. Cyberpunk 2077% done. <laughs> anyway, enough enough about that. Let's talk about uh, Cage Miss. So this is the event that we're doing. Uh, we're playing all of the David Cage games in a row, in order, with an asterisk. And that asterisk is that we will, we're, going, we're going to be playing Omnicron at the end. Uh, Omnicron is a game that I have never played. I didn't even know it existed until someone proposed that we do this Cage Miss Marathon. Um, so we're gonna play uh, Omnicron at the end because I hear it's absolutely awful and uh, we'll do it for one stream and if we think that uh, if we think it's worth continuing then we will but uh, if we don't then we will stop so we'll just do that that at, at the end so uh, Fahrenheit um, Indigo Prophecy remastered um, this is a game 
by someone named David Cage, which is why we're calling it Cage Miss. So David Cage has made uh, several games. Uh, the most recent one was Detroit Become Human. Uh, the one before that was Beyond Two Souls. The f one before that was Heavy Rain. And this one is um, Fahrenheit Integral Prophecy. This game came out in, if I can remember correctly, 2005. So this game is 15 years old. And if, believe it or not, I played this game at release. So, I have not played it since then. Uh, I have played Heavy Rain. I played Heavy Rain uh, shortly after release. Um, and I have not played Beyond Two Souls, and I have not played Detroit Become Human. So I've played half of these games that, that we're going to, that we're going to, uh, that we're going to play in order. So to, just to set some things up and to uh, give you an introduction to some of the problems that these games have and why they're so interesting and, and beloved by some and hated by others, um, you'll see that it doesn't say new game, it says new movie. So yeah, that's fucking weird, huh? That's kind of fucked up. So um, these games, as far as I can tell, I've only played half of them again, as far as I can tell from, from what I've seen of Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human, is that they all follow the same sort of format. I think there's more gameplay in Beyond Two Souls than there is in the other ones, but um, like maybe that's a bad read. So the games uh, do have movement and they do have interactions. They're not just uh, pick your choices, but um, what happens is that there's a lot of branching paths and you get to make narrative decisions about what, how things go and that determines where the story goes. Now, the, that's a really cool concept, and when this game came out, what made it so interesting, and, and like, like so many people were so enthralled by this game when it first came out, uh, because of the demo. And the demo is the first area of the game that we will see uh, when we start it. And it has a very, very interesting hook of, uh, like, it, it takes, uh, moves the camera away from you when your character does something, and then you have to play as a different character interacting with what your first character did. So you're you're aware of all the different perspectives, but also maintain some of the mystery of what's going on and the different decisions that you can make. Um, and it's like, okay, and it was a really good teaser of like, oh man, how are they going to stretch this over a whole game? And the answer to that was, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does. So uh, Fahrenheit is is uh, is an interesting game, um, but there is a point. There there is there is a point in, during this game uh, where you will be like, wait, why? And and that is the worst part of the game. I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, the, the wait what moment? It it, it kind of creeps up on you a little bit. Like you will be like. Oh my god, what are we even playing anymore? Okay, so like that that's what happens in Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. Okay. So my last point I wanna I wanna make is that a lot of people like to shit on David Cage uh, because he can't write. Now, can he not write? I have I have no idea. It's been a long time since I played these games. I will say that he did two things or three things in heavy rain that I consider to be absolutely unforgivable. So because of those, I, I, I tend to agree that David Cage is, is, is a poor writer. And you know, glass houses, glass stones, whatever. But like, I cannot believe the shit he pulled in Heavy Rain. Cannot believe. Like, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But like, holy fuck. Like, anyway, um, this game is, isn't that bad until the moment. And like, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get to it today. Anyway, so um, it's a new movie. It, it, this is why these games are kind of uh, maligned. Um, I hear that of the four, the best one is Detroit Become Human. Some people actually genuinely like that game and um, like went to bat for it to the point that they they said, which is I don't know if this is if this is racist or not, but they said that if. If David Cage was a Japanese developer, he would be a lot more beloved and considered like a Hideo Kojima level uh, developer. That I've heard that said. So I don't I don't know, like I, but like people were saying that after after um, uh, Detroit Become Human got got panned by a lot of people. So I don't fucking know. It's just a weird take, so I wanted to repeat it.
Oh, anyway, uh, let me say thank you to some people, and then we'll get into it. Where's Omicron? At the end. We're gonna do Omicron at the end before the other ones. Uh, sorry, after the other ones, just in case, uh, it's, it's unplayable. Okay, a quick thank you to Dax here for the 15 month resub, Bouncy Bob for the 100 bits, Zorgrox for the 15 month resub, Buyers for More 7 for the 22 month resub, Bokeron for the 3 month resub, Tell69 for the 14 month resub, Rogerson Raj for the 38 month resub, holy shit, Nadja for the 30 month resub, Birdie9862 for the 10 month resub, uh, P P J for the 3 month resub, Bolas Rachel for the 15 month resub, Loner Archon for the 10 month resub, Drusta for the 4 month resub, Vandalese or Vandalize for the 3 month resub, Dirk, Durka Sheed, who I can never say, for a 20 month resub. Arcana Spade for a 6 month resub. Richard Miziak? Miziak? One of those for the 8 month resub. Uh, Suri Lewis. Lewis Sir, Cersei Lewis UK. God damn it. I'm so sorry for the new sub. Welcome. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. This is so butchered. Vernon Hope for a 33 month resub. Uh, Serectius, Serectius for the 8-month resub, Zyso for the 15-month resub, Dalmec for the 12-month resub, welcome to the one-year club, Dalmec, uh, Enyo for the 14-month resub, Petzal for the 14-month resub as well, Ironrath for the 5-month resub, Ironrath for gifting a sub out to, oh, a bunch of people, to Frickin' Moron, Psy Tutor, Jerkomatic, Chesto4, Jail Schmix Remix, Chicken Liver Nuts, H Dog Sizzle, nice. Uh, Puppy Hats, nice. Horrentus, Abdullah Al -Sh Al Sheikh, hopefully close, and Them Lund. Thank you, Ironrath. That was a, a, a good run of, of subs there. Thank you. Uh, Isolate Space Sound for the 100 bits. Uh, Kyrie Mind for the 4 month resub. Wakey Feel for the 10 month resub. Zade Jr. for the 28 month resub. P Kill Boredom. For the eight-month resub, Smorgaborg, interesting name for the four-month resub. Smorgasbord is a, is is a weird word. Ott for the two-month resub. Matt Darian, Matt Darian, I think, for the eighteen-month resub. Huts has gifted uh, a sub to Al a a Jammy ninety-nine, and it's a resub. Thank you, Huts. Uh, Baku Haku draws things for the twenty-four-month resub. Welcome to to your club, Baku Haku. Chen Dizi for the thirty-two-month resub. Our I can never say the same, and I say it every time. R R B Q R <laughs> This is the stream everybody. R Arbikius Elamelic. God damn it for the 29 month 3 sub. It's not John for the 8 month 3 sub. Um thank you Giga Slasher gifting out a sub to Can I change name to talk to you? Captain Quiche, Flying Banana Nana 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 -na. Sun Su Beans, nice. Super God Narb Slam Bolts Blue Th Blue three Taito? What? Tripping, Salmon Haiti, and Fiery Blood. You got some weird names here, man. Some weird names. Uh Gabis for the 19 month resub. Tiny Tin Can for the 2 month resub. Johnny Rage Twitch for the 23 month resub. Dasty Dan for the new sub. Welcome, Dasty Dan. Uh Nihil formerly Vethalon for the 4 month resub. Tilt Tilt Nye the Salty Guy. <laughs> What? For the new sub, welcome. Also, thank you for the new sub to Raptorama7. Welcome, welcome. Ingvar Fed for the 34 and 3 sub. Julie... Ju no, sorry. Julor... Julorits. Julortis? Julortis. There we go. We got there eventually. For the 4 and 3 sub. Telsey Snipe for another round of bits. 200 bits. Thank you. The Muppet Cambron. Nice. For the new sub, welcome. Also, welcome to J Sav M K G. Versus Predator, thank you very much. And last but not least, Bouncy Bob with 900 bits. Thank you so much. That was a lot of subs and bits. Holy shit, thank you so much, everybody. Sometimes they, they, they come in like that in a, in a, in a huge round. Alright, so uh, I want to play with the gamepad, but let's see if it lets me. Alright. Here we go. Alright. So let me know immediately if the dialogue is too low. Oh, I'm so happy that we're doing this. Tutorial, nah. Oh, there's there. I think there are boobies in this game. Uh, um, toward the end, spoilers. So like, I'll try and give you a warning, but just like if you're at work or whatever. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but 
We really only see the outside, what it seems to be. Wait, are there subtitles? I used to be just. Subtitles. Visual. Alright, did I miss an audio? I don't see subtitles. Controls? Are are there no subtitles? <sighs> Wait, don't I don't I have footage of this in in the Witcher video and there's and there's subtitles? Hold on, let's see. Oh, it just it just ends. It's the, it's 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 over. All right. Is it gonna fuck up my Windows again when I play? This is this is damn. This is the real Cyberpunk 2077. Here we go. Here we go. The little the little splash art launcher thing shows up with join the community. Yeah, let, let's go let's go join the Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy community. That that's that sounds like a frolicking time for everyone. Damn. Here we go. D yeah, it fucked up my Windows. It fucked up my Windows. God damn it. I can't see chat. My chat's gone. It's gone. All right, here we go. We're back in. This game's really old, everybody. It crashed. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Cagemas. <laughs> now our windows are broken again. All right, maybe I can't alt tab out. All right, select. It crashed. All right, so I guess that that's just like that's uh, that's dead. Th that that login is dead. I have to pick. I have to make a new login. Okay. All right. Did you get the try to turn on subtitles ending? The try to turn on subtitles ending is more my favorite. <sighs> Windows broken again. All right. No new login. All right. All right. Can he? Log ends. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm sure. It crashed. Um. <laughs> I don't have heavy rain downloaded, so I don't know. Maybe this is learned. Does this count as an any percent? Like, like we're done, right? Like, no login. If you just play without any logs, save games will be disabled. Proceed. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, great. All right, now it's a streamer, everybody. Here we go. It's fucking bug snacks tension time. We can't save the game. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank you, David Cage. Very cool. All right.
And if you cut, well, there's the tension. All right, so we want languages, subtitles on. All right, French. Do you want to play with French subtitles? All right, what if I log in from, from here now? All right, E. All right, select. It crashed. All right, yeah, we, we have to do it no login. All right, we're doing it live. All right, we're, fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Fuck it. Fuck it. This is it. This is it. All right, here we go. I'm rolling up my sleeves. We're doing it live. Fuck it. Why would you have to make a login in order to save it? I don't understand. Okay, what if I delete them both? Hold on. Can you log in? <laughs> All right, this is the last chance. Cage mess. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm, yes. Back. How does this happen? How do, how does this happen? Why do bad things happen to good streamers? Okay. Um now 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 it crashed trying to start. Now <laughs> Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now, now it's crashing and trying to start. I don't understand. Why, why is this happening? Why is it get, why is it getting worse? Oh, let me move my windows over. Streams haunted. Streams haunted. Is this Steam or the GOG version? This is the Steam version. It's the remastered version that came out. Um, I don't know when this came out, actually. Not that long ago, the remaster. Oh. 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 Cage must back on the menu. All right, no login. Yeah, so we can't save it. Here we are. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, I don't like. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like, if if it crashes again, we might lose our save. So, uh, should we just should we just do it? Should we just go? Windowed mode. Alright, let's try window mode. Alt enter. Here we go. Alright. Hardware error. A DirectX 9C or higher compliant video card is needed to, to run this application. The program will now exit. All right, thanks. Thank, thank you, uh, Indigo Prophecy. Very cool. I 
I might have to restart the computer. It, it might be completely screwed. Hold on. Hold on. I was a hacker, man. I got through it. All right. Don't you love it when programs like hijack your whole screen and even when you do task manager, it doesn't show up? That's that's the power of a second monitor is that you move the task manager over to the second monster, a mon mon monster, monitor with uh, with Windows and, and your arrow keys and you switch it over and you're like, damn, I'm a hacker, man. All right. Sorry, I thought I thought playing in Windows in windowed mode might actually work. Damn, two successful launches in a row. What did we do to deserve this? Yeah, didn't it say two, 2015 down there, just there? That's when this game came out, 2015? So this, this remaster is as old as Witcher 3. And runs about just as well. If you choose to play with it, yeah, proceed, yeah. Okay, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. I'm annoyed now. Chapters. All right, languages, subtitles, English on. All right. Uh, is there anything else we need to do? Are we on normal or, or hard or easy? We just stay on normal. Like it's just quick time bullshit. All right. Um. New movie. All right. Fucking hell. Oh, what are our graphics options? Oh, it reset all the graphics options. What the fuck? The, it, I did that last time. <laughs> I did it last time and it worked just fine. All right, we're verifying the integrity of game files. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're verifying. You see that Parks and Recreation clip where the guy is, is like, uh, in, in my country, this wouldn't happen. If, if you step out of line, you go to jail. Late for a dentist appointment, believe it or not, jail. Drive above the speed limit, jail. Drive below the speed limit, jail. This game is like... Tr try to change the graphics options? Crash. Try to log in? Crash. Try to play the game? Believe it or not, crash. Alright, it, it, it's fine. It verified. Alright, someone is telling me to delete something. Alright, what am I deleting? Go to path of game. Okay, and then... D remove or rename logoquan.bic or an nvidia.bic. All right. Videos, UK, PC. All right. Logoquan and nvidia. All right. I'm deleting those two. All right. It is done. They have been deleted. All right, so I verified, I deleted that shit. All right, here we go. We are pressing play. Let's see what happens. All according to Cage Taku. All right. So now I should be able to log in. Is that what you're saying? I should be able to log in now, now that I've done this. Load failed. The save game you're trying to load is corrupted. How? We've never started. 
Okay, does that mean we're all right? Like, what's gonna happen? All right, languages, English, all right. Visual. It worked! I don't understand! I was able to tweak the graphics options! Not just in customize either, like, I was able to move it! Oh my god! Alright, 2,000 of you watching- I don't understand how viewership is going up! Alright, now let's- the login won't work now, here we go! Gage was so loud! Oh my god, it worked! Alright, options! Alright, visual- okay, what if we just go- okay, what if we go left instead of right? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I guess I guess we're stuck on medium, which means which means guess what, chat? We don't have shadows. The game's not gonna have any shadows because it's shadows on or off. There's no shadows. <laughs> oh. Make a new profile. All right, here we go. I believe you, chat. All right, let's go back to Kenny. The fact that it's not Cordy is, Cordy is really fucking with me. All right, we're back to Kenny. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I do want to configure it. All right, back. All right, here we go. It crashed. All right, the wiki has some help. All right, here we go. Skip intro videos. Okay, we did that. Conf configuration files location, path to game. All right, Steam assets. The game does not follow the something. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what this means. Why would I want to configure the, the files there? Oh, maybe I can just configure it there instead of uh, in the um, in the thing. Okay, let's see. Windows, path to game, Fahrenheit.ini. All right. I thought this was a fix for the crashes, not for the, uh, for the, um, for the settings. I guess if, like, if we can f do it here, we don't have to try it anymore. All right, path to game. All right, full screen, yes. No sound, no. All right, what do we want? We want... Okay, th th either I clicked on the wrong thing, or this does not have wh what we need. Should we just say fuck it and play Persona 4? That's what I'm getting the impression of in chat right now. Okay, let's see if this does anything. I turned full screen off, so it should be in windowed mode now. All right, here we go. Here we go. This, I have a good feeling about this. This is the one. This is the one. I have a good feeling about this. All right, here we go. It still moved all my windows. All right, here we go. Here we go. I feel I feel good about this. We're going with cage misses. Work for us before. All right, load failed. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. I feel good about this. All right, here we go. Visual. Auto the tech graphic. Let's let's say no first, right?
You just doing this process point. I changed it the windowed mode. I thought it would. I thought it would fix, and we hadn't tried the auto detect option before. You, you don't. You don't get it, guys. Like, I, I was able to change graphic settings uh, before the stream started. How many Indigo Prophecy background processes are you, are you running around? None, actually, just the one. All right. All right. We're tapping back in. We're tapping back in. All right. We're tabbing. All right, I guess I guess we're just playing without without shadows. All right, here we go. New movie. Do we want to watch the tutorial? Fuck it. L who cares? Let's watch the tutorial. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fire Night. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Hi, Let's Bob. Begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Go to the mark on the floor, press use W, walk forward, S for a U-turn, use A. Okay, can I use the gamepad instead? We configured gamepad, remember? But then it got corrupted. Nope. Alright. Mouse controls. Hold Beth. Hold both left and right mouse buttons to walk forward. Okay, you have to hold down left mouse to turn. Right mouse to turn like this. Alright, and we hold both of them down to, to, to move. Okay. Alright. Hey, look, we're, we're a crash test dummy. <laughs> All right, I'm running. Perfect. Now you know how to move about. Yeah. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've done it, Cage. Can we please move on? You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. Despite all my rage. Alright, I'm I'm doing that too. Alright. What is my purpose? All right. But you won't be just looking around you in Fire Night. You'll also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. I'm going. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? I do. It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Okay. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's cool. Now that you know how to move about, use the cameras and interact with the environment, we can move on to more serious stuff. Okay. Fortnite has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. Go to the rib stall. Rib stall? Is that is that what that's called? Oh man, this when is a this minxy robot. When this at the top of the screen, it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll see, you'll be exhausted too. A and D keys alternate as quickly as possible. Oh no. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Fahrenheit. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Oh no. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's what can happen if you don't have good reflexes. Try again. At the same time, we're just one of them. Alright, we did it. 
Alright, now which one? Alright, we did it. Okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also choose what you want to say in dialogues in Farnight. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? He sucks. Hold less mountain. Sexy, nice. Hey Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Final Night, you'll only have a they limited knew. amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. Now, let's talk about your mental health. In Final Night, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character, otherwise you may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. Oh, I nearly forgot something important. What? In Final Night, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice, think before you act. That's it. I've told you everything I know. Or nearly everything. There are still lots How about of you think before you write, you I'll origami fuck? Them for yourself. Now it's up to you. So I don't know who said that. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. Right, time for it to crash. It didn't crash. I thought we got rid of the vault, the, the intro video. Alright. Oh, oh, is we just starting? Oh, okay. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside. What it seems to be. No shadow playthrough. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, <laughs> politics, and history books. Soap day, commercials! The kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. <laughs> my name is Lucas Kane. Lucas Kane! My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Alright. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Dun dun. Fahrenheit. Friends name. So no one told your life was gonna you know, be this right way. Now. Where else could it happen? Your life's a joke, you bro. Capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. All right. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. The snow is oppressively thick, huh? Like, it's it's like they accidentally dialed it up to 25 or something, and they were like, ah, look at this, isn't it funny? And then they were like, no, no, let's keep it. Like, it's just a... So this is snow, and then it's heavy rain. Does uh, Beyond Two Souls have like a lot of steam? Man, I wish we had shadows. All right, so this is actually a cool opening. This this section, this was the demo, and it was really good. Damn, better windows than Cyberpunk. Uh, sorry, better mirrors than Cyberpunk. Nice. Oh, we have shadows! So, why was he hanging out in the bathroom with a knife before he got possessed? Just hanging out in the bathroom with my knife. Do 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 do. Alright, here we go.
Merry Christmas. I don't remember this at all. Does this come back? I don't remember this at all. God, it's been so long. It's been 15 years since I played this game. What? What, what have I done? Oh no, now we're depressed. Really? You killed someone and it's only minus 60? Like, that's in minus 100 for sure. Like, come on. I didn't want... Dun dun. Oh no, there's a cop here. Quick. I, I, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Where are the subtitles? They're gone. The music is a tad too loud. Okay, hold on. Let me alt tab out and fix it. All right, here we go. I turned it down a little bit. All right, hopefully it doesn't crash when we when we go back in it didn't all right so i like this opening quite a bit this was the demo and it, it kind of still holds up that you're you're an uh, an innocent man who's been possessed and but actually did commit the murder you know like it's it's an interesting situation right so uh, i think it's i think it's quite strong and then you have to like like cover up the murder that you didn't want to commit cuz no one's going to understand what happened i quite like it all right, so um, if I remember correctly, we need to hide the knife. I don't remember what we do with the body. Depressed. Oh man, now I'm feeling better. Now I'm just anxious. Now we hide the knife. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Alright, so it cuts away so you don't get to see where he hides the knife. Alright, there we go. Alright, are we going to clean up this blood or no? Like, I think that's kind of obvious. Alright, uh, let's look at ourselves in the mirror. I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Alright, let's wash. <laughs> Damn, smooth sleeves. Alright, now let's dry our hands. That's important. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, now let's let's climb out the window. Can we climb out the window? Oh, hold on, let's clean up. What are we cleaning up? All right, we have one. All right, wait, wasn't it a broom? I am holding. That's hold. Am I supposed to like go up and down? All right, we're going up and down. All right. I thought that was A and D. Wow. Damn. I I'm really glad that they dropped this sort of thing. And uh, like the blood trail's still here though. All right, let's leave. Let's leave. Come on, let's go. Wait, hold on. Should we get some condoms? All right, hold on. Empty. Darn. Alright. Let's leave. Let's go. Oh shit. Greetings, weeb. Don't worry don't worry about that blood on the floor, okay? I'm leaving. Oh, he's seen it. Oh shit! Run! 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 Get out! Oh now we're back here! Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to ding, arrive ding, and check ding, your ID. Ding. And that's how my story ends. The police found blood on my clothes and arrested me. So I'll be spending the rest of my days rotting in some prison somewhere. I'll never 
ever find out exactly what happened. That cold night in January in the toilet of that restaurant. Because as far as everyone else is concerned, I'm just another kid. He looks so salty about it. What, what is the trailing whatever? Why is there a time limit to continue from our last save? Oh my god. Alright, let's do this fast. Let's wash quick. Out of order. No, let's wash quick. Okay, we don't need to dry our hands. We don't need to dry our hands. Let's just go. All right. All right, we're out. Okay, now we don't want to be suspic suspicious. So let's. Hey, how's it going? You got a problem, pal? You want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Alright, that sucks. Alright, here we go. Oh, the knife! We didn't hide the knife! Hold on, go back in. Hold on, I wasn't done. I wasn't done. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. We don't need to do the blood. He sees the blood anyway. We're not cleaning up the blood. stool sorry hello Sir, can I get you something else yeah some eggs no, I, uh, I, don't, I don't need anything thanks no I want you to bring me all the eggs you have snowy cold front coming down from Canada is bringing temperatures far below normal seasonal averages <laughs> new snow is expected to fall throughout the day tomorrow all along the east coast heavy Here's snow a temperature map for your area all right, let's go. Should we talk to the cop before we leave? That's a Chad move, isn't it? Let's talk to the cop before we leave. Can I help you with something, sir? It's horrible. In the toilets, I, I've. It, it wasn't me. Oh man, what I'm a innocent. what a dump. You better go and splash a little water on your face, sir. I think that would do you some real good. Oh no, we're getting really depressed. All right. Th Wait. Hold on. Can we get? Can we get a cake? This looks like the type of man that's gonna cheer us up. This looks like the type of man that's very in tune with uh with his emotions. Very empathetic. Cheer us up, man. Can I do something for you, sir? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that you were somebody else. Don't worry about it. Okay. Cool. I can't move. I can't move the thing. Where were we sitting? Or did we come in here and just immediately use the bathroom? Oh! Hold on. What's this? Alright. That's readable. Alright. Can we, can we eat? Let's eat some food. Eat. Alright. Oh, we're feeling better now. Just killed someone. Time to eat some steak. It's rare. This time for sure. Coffee. I never drink it. I hate it. Was I with someone? I can't remember anything at all. Alright. Let's leave. Doblend 107. So I looked up which characters come back in Ace Attorney um, in the next games, and I'm kind of sad that some of them never come back. I need 
to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Alright, I'm leaving. I didn't look all up all of them. I looked up um, Gumshoe and uh, Mia. And neither of them ever come back. I live too far away to walk. What? I have to find another way to get back home. What do you mean? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, where are we going? Where's the other way? The taxi, quick. Quick. This is tense. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, we made it. Oh man, that guy who said he was innocent. Where is he? Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc Steiner, 2701. Dun dun. Doc's dying. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. Damn. You're the boss, Carla. This is cop talk. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Is he really tall or are we short? Like, like holy shit. Alright. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? This guy's dead. Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. Maybe he killed himself. I had to go before I went home. Victim. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston, a regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. The guy came to talk to me. He was incoherent. Ooh. He was about how he didn't... See how it reacts to what you did? Something like that. Pretty cool. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Wow. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. When this symbol appears in the top right of the screen, you can switch characters. Press 2 button anytime switch characters. All right, I'm pressing 2. All right, I have switched characters. Clues. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. I'll go drink some Keep coffee. Up the good work, Tyler. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. 
Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and, and left a nice tip. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. The window. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Damn, conclusive. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle? No, I didn't notice anything. Before. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. No. It was just a night like any other. Did you notice anything at all? Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. <laughs> You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin over. at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. I took the front door. What happened next? Martin went to the Pretty restroom. Pretty sus. And that's when you found John. Pretty fucking sus. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. Wait, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. I had only know. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. <laughs> Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Aww. So if you understand the sound is low, do you want me to turn it up a little bit? Good night. This is only start buckle up Joe. I've played this game before, I just don't remember it. Can we save it if we go into options? I'm worried if we go into options, it's gonna crash. All right, here we go, options. Load in progress, please wait. All right, audio. All right, voices. Oh, all right, let's turn the music down a little bit. Effects there, all right, there we go. Back. All right, back. All right, we're good. All right, it didn't crash. All right, we're good. It did not crash. It did not. Can't we just leave here? Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Oh, now we can't get back in. <sighs> the door only opens from the inside. Awesome. Oh, now we're stressed. Damn, if we if we have four, five more moments like that, it'd be like we killed somebody. All right. Hello. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Cold. Cold enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this to keep me warm. <laughs> you want a Is that a whole bottle of wine? 
Yes, I do. No, wh where's the yes option? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone hey, unusual? Boy. Hey, boy. I see something. Hey. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Damn. Well, that was a bust. Do 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 do. Wait, what can we look at? Nothing. The car? The ambulance? What was it that we could look at? The diner? Alright, there we go. Oh, the blood! Blood. Killer is wounded. Oh shit, not again. Darn. Maybe this time. Damn. My goal is to make her kill herself so we get away with it. I'm on I'm on team Kane, whatever the fuck his name is. Alright. I would like to be able to see the bathroom, please. Alright, here we go. No, Omnicron. We're playing Omnicron last. A pool of blood. This is where I killed him. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Dun dun. So if I remember correctly, consider a career in plumbing. There are different you places that the knife can be and it's randomized. Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Which I like. And after I think it's all downhill from there. <laughs> no trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Several wounds on the left side of the chest. In the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Alright. Looking good, Carla. Looking good. Wait, where's the knife? Man, stab some dude in the top. Do we have to be this guy to find the knife? I remember there being some, uh, some, some, um, weirdness with that. Wow, we just flushed the toilet at a crime scene. Remember that CSI episode where Grissom gets really mad at the new the new CSI guy for using the toilet at a crime scene? Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. It's like sanctity of the crime scene. All right. So I'm guessing you just go around flushing toilets, Do you know if bro. Has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Damn, and right. now your prints are on it. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Well, mine are gonna be on it. Why are the subtitles inconsistent? What's going on? Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. 
Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. All right, let's let's pee right in front of her. Tyler. <laughs> what? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. All right. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Remember that episode of CSI where they where they uh, they go through the kitchen scene where someone's been shot and the only dialogue say they say is fuck over and over and over again? That was a really good episode of CSI. Looking good, Tyler. Yeah, here we go. Alright, you're not gonna wash your hands, bruv? Alright. Oh hey, shit! Carl, I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. Open the door. Help me out. Oh, man, that's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. God, now I'm depressed. Now I'm stressed. Alright. Here, open the door for him. Here, open the door. Then you can both come back inside. Is that you making all that noise? It, I can't believe it worked. Yeah, I make a lot of noise. I cannot I believe it worked. <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> so Sherlock stuck outside. <laughs> Leave me alone, Tyler. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the to the homeless guy. <laughs> What? I was wondering, you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> right, thank you. You've been helpful. I wanted to see the uh, the scene you talked about, so, so I, I googled CSI fuck scene. And unsuccessful, did you get a lot of Pornhub hits? It's from The Wire, actually, it was a joke. It's a it's a fairly famous scene from the wire. It might even be the, the most famous scene from the wire, or the the uh, the paper bag for drug scene might be up there too. Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Damn. Let's put some music on. Yeah. Wonderwall. Said so maybe. <laughs> Tyler, can you shut that thing off? We're on a murder site here. Hey, I just thought I'd chill the atmosphere a little. Okay, it's <laughs> off. I better turn this off before Carla pops a vein. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it possible that if we get Tyler down to zero mental health that he'll just, like, he'll just die? Like... You had such a bad night at work, like the jukebox was the last straw? Like, what? You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Eh, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. <laughs> yeah, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. <laughs> I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. <laughs> how, how do you not realize we were just a condescending prick to you, bro? Like, holy shit. <laughs> Hey Garrett. Hey Frank. How's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. You can do that now. Go, go for it. Go for it. You can do that now. We're done. All right. Let's go look at the body again.
All right, we did that for sure. All right, are, are we not done? God, there's, there's something uniquely frustrating about playing a game that you've already played before but have forgotten it. Because it's not just like new and you're trying everything. It's like you, you have like faulty fucking memories that are all like like stuck in stuck in your head of like, oh, I should be done now. I remember moving on. Like it's been so long. Under the table. All right, let's sit down while we're checking it all. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. What a chat. Wow. I'm turned on. I can't wait to have sex with him later. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Alright. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. <gasps> the book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. Damn, Billy Shakes. This is his. It's a pretty weird book for a killer to Shakespeare's read. the murderer! Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. Eh? He's a caffeine addict. Or else he wasn't alone. That is weird. Like eating soda, uh, eating soda, uh, drinking soda with a candy bar. It's just like, it's just, ah, oh, that's terrible. Alright, can I look under the table again or are we done? No, we're done. All right. All right. You know what I want to know? I want to know what Tyler thinks about this. Tyler, what do you think about the table? Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. What do you mean? I ate it four times. Martin says this was the guy's table. That's it. All right. Are we done now? I'm eating eggnog. I've never had eggnog. Is it good? Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Awesome. All right. Now Carla put on some music. All right, we gotta be done now. Can we get a can we get a cake for home? No. When is the tarot card scene? I like the tarot card scene. That's my favorite. All right, can we leave? Let's go. Tyler's got the keys to the car. I better go find him. Or I could press two. I'm pressing two. All right. My eyes open. I'm gonna go see if Carla's done yet. Tyler's got the keys to the car. He, better go find him. He, he, it's, uh. Hi, Tyler. Let's let us depart. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're done. Let's go. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. All right, we're here. All right, cool. All right, so what did we miss? But what we didn't find was this. So the killer got away. And that's the end of the story. I'll never know what happened in that snowy diner in January of whatever. Wow, he's peeing from really far away. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. Damn, the bloodstains look like wings next to him. The symbolism. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody's 
shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. What's supposed to symbolize though? That that he will soon turn into an angel. Nah, that is a big book. My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Oh no. That's a computer. <laughs> Select return. You have no new message. All right. Cool. All right, time for some tension chat because I am gonna say thank you to subs, which means I need to alt tab out of the game. Which means this playthrough might end right now. Here we go. Let's pause it first. Here we go. But a but a bomb but um but um bomb bomb but a but a bomb but um. Thank you, Ravid Ag23 for the 213 sub, Squid Bleach for the 413 sub, Mr. Randerus for the 2513 sub, Raphael Ambrosius Costo for gifting a sub to Vardvarith, which makes the 12 month sub. Welcome to the one year club, Vardvarith. Thank you, Raphael. Satan Sold for the, or Satin Sold, sorry, not Satan, it's Satin. Why did I say Satan? Satin Sold for the 6 month 3 sub, Jack Chan 188 for the 213 sub, Kieran Soul for the 15 month 3 sub, Tophers for the new sub. Welcome, Tophers. Amor, Amoror for, sorry, Amoror 2 for the 16 month resub, Wonderweez for the 14 month resub, Iron Wrath for gifting out another sub to Tutorial, oh, to do the tutorial. <laughs> ben Beats Game for the 19 month resub, Dalroth for the 4 month resub, The Muppet Cambron for gifting a sub to... What? Porn Thanny Hub Tano here. Hmm. What could it mean? Uh, thank you, Discard Discord, for the 10,000 bits. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Discard Discord. And also for the advice. That's a lot of bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Kappa Calculus for the 813 sub. Meesis for the 200 bits. Bouncy Bob for 200 bits as well. QSDC for the 413 sub. Thank you. Recording Spoon. Nice for 313 sub. Uh, Metal City Gaming for the 3 month 3 sub, Noodle Rat for a 2 month 3 sub, Hakon or Hakon Aria for the 4 month 3 sub, Pat, Patchy or Patchy for the 11 month 3 sub, Popsicle Daydream for the 35 month 3 sub, I'm Synodic, Synodic, one of those two for the 27 month 3 sub, probably say that every single time, Squirrel the Turtle 13 for the 27 month 3 sub, Alpha Horizon for the 22 month 3 sub, Muragi, Muragi, I think? Must be around there for the 313 sub. Uh, ass Martin for the 213 sub. There, there, that's one uh, that's easy to say. I know how to say Ass and Martin. Put them together, I'm good. Uh, Smaffy for the 1013 sub. Didn't say Smaffy for once. Rabbit of Doom for the 2513 sub. Blazriel for the new sub. Welcome. Saren for the 1213 sub. Welcome to the one year club, Saren. King Seeker Toad for the, for the new sub. Welcome. Top Lolly for gifting a sub to Joe is a furry. Wow. Thank you so much, Top Lolly. Welcome, Joe is a furry. Uh, Clus92 for the 3 3 sub. Diablo, with a U, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Wekus on Fire for the 11 3 sub. Kali Doggo for the, the 100 bits. Aw. Uh, Arafel M for the 4 3 sub. Zariel for the 550 bits. Gigaslash for the 12 3 sub. Welcome to the 1 year club, Gigaslash. Welcome, welcome. And last but not least is Hyper Cuban with the 13 3 sub. Thank you very much, Hyper Cuban. Now, we're going to tap back in. Is it gonna Is it going to break or not? It did not. Did you guys see that Persona 5 Strikers is on, uh, is on Steam? The fuck's that about? Oh, I remember this. When you listen to the radio, you have to stand next to it and do nothing else. Very warmly before setting foot outside. It was extremely cold last night, and in some places the snow has turned into sheets of. Oh, he's had enough. Cool. All right, so I remember this. Thus spoke Zarathustra. 
by Nietzsche. A classic. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. <laughs> So, um, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go. Uh, should we do this right now? Let's do this right now. All right, let's let's go drink some alcohol. All right. No, I'm not answering it. No, I need to go drink something. All right. Is it in the fridge? Oh, he just has milk. That's it. It's just milk. All right. I meant milk. Hi, this is Lucas. King. Duck soup. I'm not here right now, so please leave a message. <laughs> Is that soup? Hello, Lucas, it's Marcus. I'm calling you because tomorrow was the 10th anniversary of the accident. And I thought, well, maybe you might want to go together this time. <laughs> he never, he never wants to run out of fucking Bye. duck soup. Oh, we got a card. Damn, bonus five. Bonus five what? More duck soup. There's more duck soup in there. Where's the alcohol? This is the same duck soup cabinet. There's a spoon. Alright, there's alcohol here. Wasn't it wine or something? God damn it, I want to kill myself so bad. Oh no! Where is it? There it is. All right, we found it. All right, here we go. All right. Down some uh, duck vodka. Damn. Now I feel better. All right, damn, now I have a headache. Time to go take my painkillers. That should help my migraine. The notice reads, don't take with alcohol. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. Make alcohol and medication. I'll never know what happened to me in that diner on the court. <laughs> because in the eyes of the world, I was just a murderer. <laughs> my migraine. The notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Alright, we're good. Alright. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. <laughs> Man's not hot. Close the window. Ahoy, hoy. Hello? Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And, to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? Well, I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Who is this creepy older brother? Wait, what? Ear. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Oh, that's when I was murdering. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. 
I thought maybe I'd pop over just to no reaction. The Just and... no reaction whatsoever. Well, Fuck Tiffany, I'm gonna watch some TV. Today, the murder. Oh no! The body of the man was discovered in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed Stress. several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for up. This has to be a minus 20 at least, right? Minus 20 at least. It's the music. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. Stabbed several times with a steak knife. What if I covered the murder and disguised it with one of my own? Delightfully devilish, Lucas. Only minus ten? Really? Wait, what's what's this? Damn, I, I have a feeling that we killed somebody. Huh. The clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. Okay. Can we go see the bird on the balcony? Alright. Hello, bird. Alright. Bonus 10. Cool. Alright. There was a card out of sight there, I guess. Alright. So, um, if I remember correctly... Oh, punching bag. Uh, the hardest QTE in the whole game takes place in here. After what Later. happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. To do it, it'll cheer you up. Plus ten. I'm in no condition. My forearms still hurt. Darn. Is that a spoon? The keys to my apartment. I'll grab them when I'm ready to leave. Yep. That that's a key. New York police, please open the door. Get ready. Oh shit, what? What? Uh oh. Well, we fucked that up. Hey, what's that? Oh, we did it. Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Wait, didn't it say great? He's in the oh shit. I must be losing my mind. Okay, uh, that QTE thing is actually really hard for me to follow, but okay. Here we go. Let's let's move it. Let's move let's move the clothes. Throw them off the balcony. All right. There's laundry. All right, let's put it in there. Wh isn't that the first place people are going to look? Let's take a shower. Now I feel better. What is he, a never nude? All right, here we, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're soaking wet. We didn't, u we didn't use the towel. All right, now let's go on the balcony. Will it kill us? No. Still bloody. I think these are like scars or like not scars, like just like cuts. You know, like they're still red because of that. <laughs> Looking good, Lucas.
these bandages say don't take with pain medication. And that's where my story ends. Whoa, what happened to his face? Wait, did it update the whole character model to add bandages? Is that what just happened? Is that... is that... <laughs> Oh no! Minus 20. Need to take a piss. Just gonna unzip my boxes and go for it. There's like a weird seam. Alright, let's go fix the bed before the cop gets here. New York police. Oh no! Open the door. Why, why would he ever go to my bathroom? They know. They, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Okay, can we... Just a minute, I'm coming. Can we get dressed? I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Alright, what else What else do we have? Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. Alright, I think we're good. It's just a close. What's in this gigantic chest? Oh, we can't see. Oh, wait, we didn't get the tarot card. Man, I better go close my cabinets or else he's gonna think I'm a psychopath that collects duck soup. One second. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. Really? Can't wait for this to just be like, oh, just a routine check. Hope you're okay, but we're gonna knock your, your thing down. All right, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yep, it's a... <laughs> this is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. Oh no, Just I forgot. a second, I'm looking for the key. I forgot my key. Take the paper. Alright, I'm letting you in. I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? It was me. It was me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? No. No. Listen, I, I promise you, everything's fine. Uh, do you mind if I just go ahead and look around anyway, sir? No! <sighs> Whatever. No warrant, no sir. What the fuck, Lucas? What happened to your wrist, sir? Just told you so. I told you I had yeah. a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Well, you're just gonna go in the bathroom and in the bedroom? Kill him. Kill him. Now I have a taste for it. Now I'm killing on my own. Where is this broken glass? Show it to me. And that's the end of my story. I didn't have broken glass to go along with it. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. What do you mean, everything that's going on? Phew. I feel better. Alright, time to go take a celebratory swig of vodka. What's the broken, what's this on the floor? Is that a remote or what is, what is that? That does look like broken glass, doesn't it? What's that on the floor there? Okay, are you cheered up enough to play guitar now? No. All right, let's drink some milk. Alcoholic milk. Yeah, that's how I drink milk. Again, 2005. 
2005. Damn, I feel better now because I had some milk. Alright, what about some water? What about some duck soup? You love that so much. Okay, so, like, it doesn't even show you that it's alcohol before you drink it, or do you have to commit? I think you have to commit, don't you? Okay, I guess I guess that's fine. Alright, can we leave now? Are we done? Massacre in East End Restaurant. Oh, no. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Police are already searching for the man and will be releasing a composite sketch in the next few days. I can't I can't wait to see this sketch. All right, let's go to the uh to the tomb. Lock your door. The park. All right, we have to choose. Do we do both of them? I can't remember. Let's just stay with Lucas. Let's go to the park. F9 HD. What? When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. Oh no. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. Oh no. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care oh, of Oh no. Our parents died. <laughs> We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really... When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. <laughs> but he's still the only person I really... When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart... <sighs> All right, did it let us save? Did it let us save? Okay, hold on, hold on, because we, we actually got into a uh, into a, a profile. Remember? When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable, but then he turned into a priest. It just happened. All right, we were cagemas, right? Select. Load failed. The save game you're trying to load is corrupted. All right, well, this is a good playthrough, everybody. All right, cool. Why is it at 2 a- like, like, at midnight? What? Okay, is there a way to download, uh, like a save file that, that so we can get to the chapters? I guess we then we lose our continuity, right? Try the other profile. I don't think we we played the other profile. I'm pretty sure we played we played uh, we played Cage Miss. I didn't have auto save on, but it we could load. Kenny login. Load failed. It's corrupt. Bonus. Sequences. Gallery. All right, I don't know what to do. Should we just should we just go over to Heavy Rain? Is Heavy Rain on Steam? I think I have it, don't I? Guess we go over to Heavy Rain. I'll see if I can fix this, and we'll play Indigo at the end.
like before Omicron. It's here. I don't have it. I don't think we should start heavy rain today, though. We should start it tomorrow. What should we do for the rest of the stream? Helltaker? You guys want me to play Helltaker? Do I have Helltaker? I don't. Yeah, sorry, I'm annoyed that it didn't work. Like, I, tr I tested it before stream, and, like, it worked fine. Like, I could change everything. But, no. Apologies. 